We're now going to look at solving rational equations that actually turn into quadratics when we simplify them up. So we all remember that solving a rational equation, an equation with fractions, what we have to do is look at our denominator and then multiply both sides by the least common denominator, getting rid of the fractions. Okay? The same exact process is going to take place now, except that we're going to be dealing with a couple x's. And so when we multiply it through, we're going to end up with a higher degree of x, which is a quadratic. Okay? The one thing we have to be careful of when we're solving these equations is to make sure our answer is actually in the domain of our problem. What I mean by that is making sure that our answer doesn't make a denominator zero. If remember, we have a fraction, we can't divide by zero. So in this particular case, I have an, a denominator of x and a denominator of x plus 2. So right, ahead, right from the get-go, I know that I cannot get 0 or negative 2 as an answer. Okay? If I got those as an answer, I would have to throw them out because they're not in the domain of this particular problem. So solving a rational equation that turns into a quadratic is pretty much the same as solving any other rational equation we've looked at, just we have to keep in mind some domain restrictions.